Hi everyone. I, a couple of people requested that I make the short video uh, illustrating how to find the charge that each element on the periodic table will make, um, and it's it's really somewhat simple. Uh, so if we take a look at our periodic table, I will start with doing a few simple uh, atoms: so oxygen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, uh, sodium. Magnesium. Uh, so nitrogen, uh, atomic number is number seven. Right. So that means it has seven protons and seven uh, electrons when it's neutral. Oxygen has eight. Fluorine has nine. Neon has ten. Sodium has eleven, and magnesium has twelve. So as a general rule of thumb. Uh, atoms or elements will gain or lose electrons in order to look like the nearest noble gas. Uh, so uh, let's start with nitrogen. So the noble gas that is closest to nitrogen on the periodic table is, is neon. Uh, we'll highlight this one to illustrate it. Um, so in order for nitrogen to have the same number of electrons as neon, it would have to gain three electrons. So if nitrogen gained three electrons, it would now have ten electrons total. And because each electron is negative one, um, it would have a total charge of negative ten, since it has ten electrons. But there's still only seven protons, so the overall charge of nitrogen would be negative three. Uh, if we follow the same rule with oxygen, oxygen would have to gain two electrons because uh, if it gained two electrons, it would then have ten electrons similar to neon. Uh, so um, oxygen would then be negative two because it gained two electrons. Fluorine would have to gain one electron, which would make fluorine be negative one. Neon already uh, has ten electrons, so it's pretty happy having ten. So sodium on the which is uh, a little larger than neon in terms of protons and electrons. This would have to lose one electron in order to make it go down to 10, which is the nearest noble gas. Uh, so that means sodium would have a charge of plus one. So magnesium would have to two, lose two electrons. So that would make magnesium have a charge of plus two. Uh, aluminum would have to lose three electrons. So that would make it be plus three. So now if we uh, take this information and look at the periodic table. So sodium, the nearest noble gas is neon. It's one less. Right. Uh, potassium, if potassium would have to lose one electron to look like argon. Rubidium would have to lose one electron to look like krypton, and so on. Lithium would have to lose one electron to look like helium. So that means everything in this first column, or group one, which is our alkali metals, those would all have a plus one charge. Uh, those would all have to lose one electron to look like uh, the nearest noble gas. Anything in our alkali and earth metals, these would have to lose two electrons. So calcium would lose two to look like argon. Strontium would have to lose two to look like krypton. Beryllium would lose two to look like helium. Um, anything in this third uh, well, row 13, or uh, you can also consider it to be row 3. Um, these would all have to lose three electrons to look like the nearest noble gas. So aluminum, gallium, uh, indium, so forth, they're usually plus 3. Uh, boron is a metalloid, so it, it tends to form more covalent compounds and not lose electrons, but still it would be uh, similar to being a plus 3 um, ion. Over on the right-hand side of our periodic table, right, all of these elements in the halogen row, or row 7 or 17, depending on the table, these would all have to gain one electron to look like the nearest noble gas. So all of these just have a charge of negative one. Anything in the oxygen family would have to gain two electrons to look like the nearest noble gas. Uh, so these would all become negative two. Anything in the nitrogen family would have to gain three electrons. So that would make anything in this nitrogen family uh, be plus three. Uh, sometimes the metals are uh, form 
positive ions, but those are, are odd exceptions, so we're not going to worry about those. Um, uh, here in the column 4 or column 14, uh, which is the carbon, silicon, uh, germanium, uh, tin, and lead, um, so these can either gain or lose four electrons to look like the nearest double gas. And what we find out that we often hardly ever see ions with elements in this row, uh, but these you could consider plus or minus four. Um, lead and tin often make plus four ions. Um, they make plus two ions as well, I believe. Uh, but so you can think of it the same way. These are often plus or minus four, even though they do rarely make ions. And that's about it. Hopefully, if you have any questions, of course, you're always free to contact me, uh, email or in class or after school. Uh, and I hope this helps. Thanks.